Greetings world, this is Anonymous, Phantom Operative, Wave, as the world total of those infected with the coronavirus reaches 100,000, the world is starting to panic, Anonymous is here to calm the storm, with a possible proven prevention. This is a brief update about the coronavirus, also known as, COVID-19. This will also be a new common citizen operation, hashtag, COVID-19 prevention. So please watch the video all the way through and follow all the links below to stay updated on your own. One person can make a huge difference. That person is you. Mortality rate for COVID-19 is currently around 2%. And those that are dying are people with a compromised immune system. For those of you that do not understand percentages, 2% mortality means, for every 100 that contract COVID-19, 2 people will die. The information in this video isn't to add fear but a statistical and possible proven solution. Something anyone can do, so long as they are willing and able. A new global collaborative study has confirmed that vitamin D supplementation can help protect against acute respiratory infections, like COVID-19. The study, a participant data meta-analysis of 25 randomized control trials including more than 11,000 participants, has been published online in the British Medical Journal. Queen Mary University of London, conducted an individual participant data meta-analysis of trials in more than a dozen countries, including the US, Canada, and the UK while traditional meta-analyses compare average data from all participants in each study. Individual participant data meta-analysis separates out the data from each individual participant, producing what could be considered a higher resolution analysis of the data from all studies. Acute respiratory infections similar to COVID-19 are responsible for millions of emergency department visits in the United States, said a professor of emergency medicine at Harvard Medical School. These results could have a major impact on our health system and also support efforts to fortify foods with vitamin D, especially in populations with high levels of vitamin D deficiency, rather than boring you with all the long drawn out medical semantics. This operation is simple, buy some vitamin D supplements. Take them daily, and tell those you love, to do the same. According to the results of the meta-analysis, large doses are not beneficial at all. A modest dose is best. 20 micrograms is highly statistically significant, but anything less than 50 micrograms per day will be just fine. Again this is not our information, or, our opinion. This is based on a very complicated way of finding information, via individual participant data meta-analysis. There are many videos out that explain in better detail. The links will be in the description. One last thing. The short answer is from food, the sun or supplements. There are two main kinds of vitamin D, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 which you can get from, and occur naturally in, certain foods like salmon, tuna, mackerel and beef liver, mushrooms and egg yolks. When exposed to the sun, your skin can manufacture its own vitamin D. So do not forget to go outside and get some sunlight. We are anonymous. We never left. We never forgot. And we never forgave. Coronavirus fear mongers of the world. You should have expected us.